Polybase. Polybase has been around since SQL Server 2016, and really what it is, it's a distributed compute engine. It's integrated right in with SQL Server and allows you to query all sorts of different data sources. So using ODBC, so I can query Excel, I can query NoSQL, like Azure Blob Storage or Cosmos DB or Microsoft SQL, you know, relational databases or even big data. And big data really was um, kind of the driving force behind Polybase to begin with, right? So if you, when I was at Microsoft, you know, one of the big things that they were pushing was, you know, they had, they did Hadoop, right? Which was, they had licensed Horton, uh, you know, Hortonworks and, and we're offering that as a service, but hey, how do I, I've got all this data, this data distributed out there in different formats, but I don't want to have to pull it in and do something with it. So how do I, can I query it where it's at, right? And so we think about, you know, one of the main goals of Polybase was really to reduce the need of ETL. So if we think about it, Polybase equals data virtualization equals the reduced need for ETL, right? One of the main tenants um, that uh, for Polybase is to provide distributed read scale performance, right? So if you think about big data, right? Uh, Hadoop is has the uh, it's a multi-node scenario where I'm distributing my workload across many nodes, right? Well, if I can take SQL Server and query that and push a query across, hey, I want to query all this data and distribute that across all the Hadoop nodes, bring the results back, boom, right? W without doing all this ETL stuff. So it's really a distributed compute engine right into SQL Server, right? When you install SQL Server, one of the options is, hey, install Polybase, okay? I, I mentioned this, one of the whole goal is to say, hey, I don't want to have to, let's reduce ETL, right? Query, the data where it's at, right? whether it's in, you know, Azure, whether it's in, you know, like Excel or Hadoop or Oracle, whatever, query it where it's at. I want to execute a query, write a T-SQL statement, execute that statement, have it pushed down to where the data resides, uh, and then bring the data back, right? So again, reduce the need for ETL. Query the data where it's at, and it does a great job of that, right? If I want to, um, if I'm doing a, a, a more, com, I'll, I'll call it complex scenario where, hey, I've got it, it's a distributed environment and we, and we call it in there in the first bullet point, right? Distributed compute engine, right? So I can distribute my, my queries across multiple nodes if I need to, right? So even with SQL Server, I can, I can spin up multiple SQL servers and have that be multiple compute nodes. We're not going to do that today. That's probably a different webinar, right? Um, but Today we're going to focus on simple, but hey, I can distribute my workload across many nodes to improve the performance uh, of my query, and that's awesome. Really love that. Um, I can. Uh, it's a manual. It's a manual deploy, right? But it can also be right. So it's an initial manual deploy, but I can also auto deploy that with big data clusters, right? And so. We will talk briefly about that. We're really not going to get into the big data scenario or talk about big data clusters, but we'll kind of touch on that just briefly. But this is what Polybase is all about, right? Can we eliminate the need for ETL, improve our query performance by distributing that across many nodes, uh, and make it easy to query data where it's at, right? And that is what that was what Polybase is all about, right? Mm -hmm.